I am back and I have the honor of visiting with Dakota Monk. Dakota is just such a hand, somebody that I love uh, watching his horses. I love watching him run. Dakota, thank you for coming and visiting with us today. What are you, uh, what are you excited for this week? Um, I'm just excited. The turnout's huge and the, just the environment and the this many people in one place and this many good horses in one place. Yeah. It's fun watching, isn't it? I mean, just sitting in the warm-up pen, you kind of look around and there's there's a lot of fun observation to do. Yeah, there's not very many not good horses, so it's fun. Like you said, it's fun to watch. It's kind of like the NFR, you know you're going to get to go watch the top horses. So I would love for people to watch this and get to know you better. Um, for those who don't know your background, just share a little bit of how you got started as a trainer. Um, well, my mom and dad uh, trained growing up, just kind of local stuff, and so we always, I kind of appealed to that, liked the training part of it, and then I got in, we lived next to a cutting trainer, so I worked for him for uh, several years, and then worked for several other cutters, and so the training has just always been real appealing to me, and fun, and so that's how I kind of, after... I kind of seen that I didn't really want to do that on my own. I uh, wanted to kind of go back to barrel racing and then apply what I've learned about how a horse is supposed to move and how broke they're supposed to be to barrels. Talk a little bit more about that and dig deeper into that of what you learned on the cutting side of things and what really has served you bringing those tools back to the barrel racing. Um, my main thing that I feel is a difference, like when I get on uh, someone else's horse uh, open horse or something uh they're just really sticky in the shoulders and with cutting cutting horses they're you know they're all on their hip and they move their shoulders real freely and i think when we unlock a horse's shoulders they automatically are on their hip so they're more easy to you know really get fast and easy around the the barrels and pull with their front feet instead of just kind of planting on the front feet and kind of throwing their hip around it. So that's kind of what I brought over in my style, I guess. I think. <laughs> now, I've seen some pretty crazy Facebook pictures of you with, like, your horses just reaching. So I think that that strategy definitely works for you, and you do have a very signature style. Tell us a little bit about the colts that we're going to see you ride this week. Um, I just have two here, one derby horse and a futurity horse. Um so the Luck Lust and Pixie Dust yellow filly that I have for this year is the Futurity one, and then Slick Talking Lady uh, for the Derby. Um, kind of excited about them. They've done good all year, and we've got, I don't know, we've had some good luck, so hopefully it'll carry over here. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it'll go very well. You always seem to just show up with very competitive horses. Um, and now the Luck Lust, Luck Lust and Pixie Dust mare, she's also a first down French, is that right? No, she's a... Dash and Dynamo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a few others, uh, but they're not in the pink, so. Okay. so. Very cool. Well, we know that you do very, very well with the first down French horses, yeah. and he's a Ruby Buckle stallion, so i got to get my head on straight. <laughs> yeah. We see you on those at the Ruby Buckles. Yeah. Um, you are always at these events with your family, which is super cool. Um, that's the goal, is that these are family-friendly events, but tell us about them and how you all work together to make the horse business a go. Uh, well, I couldn't do it without them, that's for sure, um, or as easy. Um, Alyssa, my daughter, she loves exercising the horses at home and help me warm them up if they're really good. Um, most of them, she rides most of them, so um, she's only fell off a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, my wife uh, does all the entries and organizing and, um, you know, just keeping everything going really smooth. So... Um, it makes a huge difference to have a team like that um, and for them just to be here it keeps it fun and um, one day Alyssa my daughter will get to run some of them so we're excited about that that's going to be so fun to yeah. watch yeah you guys have to uh, have some best practices that in place for coming and kind of setting up camp for the whole week what are some of those those things that you've learned those uh, just those nuances that really help make the week go well things go smoothly um, we just try to be prepared for everything, like, um, you know, if it's hot or cold, and just pack plenty over stuff instead of less, um, or just enough, um, and I don't know, we've just done it so long, 
and we just keep adding horses so it just gets it's just easy for us we just move in and I don't know <laughs> set up your systems and and go okay so my final question for you and this is kind of a fun one um, just to help us get to know you a little bit better is what is a surprising fact or character quality about you that we may not know um, well I like it like I have a, I have a, like a zoo. Uh, that's probably why me and Ryan don't get along. Um, I just don't bring them to the shows like she does. But um, I like every animal, and I don't really care what it is. I'll just bring it in, and everybody at the barn don't like me because there's a million animals to take care of, and they get into everything. And <laughs> but you have to give us an example. Like, are these beyond your regular dogs and cats? Like, what, what, what do you have? What's in your zoo? I have a goat and a pig, um, and we've had a skunk before, and then Ryan tried to get me to take a skunk at Nebraska a couple weeks ago. We nearly did, but we're just super busy right now, and I didn't really want to take one. Um, um, I've had a deer before. I want another one. <laughs> and anything that's a baby that I can raise, I like doing that. It's fun. Very cool. See? The things that we learn in, in the Big Drag interviews, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Dakota, thank you for taking the time, and good luck this week. Thank you for having me.